Yeah, welcome back to Chat and Chill. Hope you guys have had a great. When has this come out, Friday? Hope you guys have been enjoying your week so far. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Hope you guys have been enjoying your week so far. Comment in that section below what you guys have got up to. And if you've got happy news in your Christmas present, how is it doing, man? Has it broken? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let me know how your presents have been. Hopefully, nothing has broken. If it has broken, maybe we all want to save a bargain sometimes, so that's probably what happened to you. Um, <laughs> on the cheek. Okay. To my left now, you can see a very, very special guest. Not only is he just an actor, no, he doesn't just stand on stage and present to, no, he isn't just a nominated for two awards for the Screen Nation Award. Bit, uh, I'm a crappy Liverpool fan. Three, three awards. Three awards. Three! Three even! Aye! Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and he supports the Dennis team in the world. As a Man United fan, you already know Liverpool aren't, me and him aren't friends already. But big shout out to Samuel <laughs> Williams. We do need some studio ah, clips. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm on back up now, so I'm just going to put my arms first. Fuck you up. I guess we have to go straight into it. Um, it's kind of comfy. I know, isn't it? <laughs> kind of sick style, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think we have to start with um, your acting, then. Okay. Um, let's talk about your online series, Nate and Jamie. How did that come about? Nate and Jamie came about. Um, Back in 2013, I met um, a writer called Kashif Fu, and he 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 worked on a um, a, fi a film he did. Mm -hmm. He did a film, and I played a guy called Omar in it. And then uh, yeah, we've been in contact since. Mm -hmm. And then he wrote a series um, called Nate and Jamie, yeah. and he said, "I thought you um, be good for the role, Nate." I read it, looked at the character, I was like, wow, this guy is a dickhead. <laughs> he was like, twat. And I was just like, so when I said that, he was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, no, I love it. Like, I would love to play a dickhead and a twat. Like, don't get me wrong. And he was like, oh, okay, I thought you didn't want it. I was like, no, no, no. So then, um, yeah, because like, like, he, he, what, what I like about like, having a rapport with some directors is mm. when, when they know you and your your kind of acting abilities, like mm. they kind of may tailor a character to for you, you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but yeah, not yeah, to yeah. suit you as a person, but your acting ability. If that yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. yeah. rather than oh, Sam is like this, so I'll make the character like this. It's more like Samuel can do this, mm -hmm. so I'll make the character. So it's a lot easier yeah, just yeah. going from random audition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. the thing. So yeah. I didn't even have to audition for it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, he was yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Take that's it. the best. That's what I always tell me when you go into yeah, build a rapport. Guys. Always like, even if you're just on YouTube, just do like comedy skits, man. Because when people actually have seen you act, mm. um, and they actually are doing casting, and you just be like, look, even like all of this, but I hope you got this role. I'm coming up for audition. Just even like, like a little show role. So they, before you even come, they know who you are. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. They see. They might not read it, but the fact that you're able to show that you've done all of this before mm -hmm. the audition, mm -hmm. they'll be looking at you like, okay, this guy actually works out. Mm. So even if he doesn't get this wrong, there might be something else. Mm. I think yeah. I think with acting is, um, I think it's easier when you 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 specialize in a certain type <coughs> of role. Do you know what I'm saying? As yeah. it easier mm. in terms of getting casted because they know, okay, this is the funny guy. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You know the style of character. That you exactly. Can play. But mm. for me, um, I feel I'm very versatile, so it becomes a bit problematic when. I'm, I'm known as a guy that can play funny roles, so when I go for a serious role, mm -hmm. they're like, oh wait, we've seen your show, bro, we've got a perfect role for you. And I'm like, big man, I ain't coming for that, like, <laughs> oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. that role, like I care yeah. to do a serious yeah, yeah. And, yeah, but it's a thing where they, they like to play it safe, so they know, oh, this guy's good at that, let's mm -hmm. let him do that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, in terms of branding, I have to be very careful with how I pre present myself as an actor, so... I'm not too um, kind of stigmatized, yeah. if that's the word. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why I'm, I'm quite careful with even like, on, I try not to be an online entertainer where I like show my face and do it just for me mm -hmm. because of the direction I want to go. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, Although you say that you do play your character really well thank in you. the series, thank you do. You. It is really funny. Thank and you. you do, you do a good job of it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So even like <clears throat> any like online comedy things I do, usually I don't show my face. I just have like do voiceovers and all that kind of stuff where 
maybe they can associate my name yeah. as that kind of person, but they won't associate the face. Because I've noticed a lot of the time, sometimes when people watch actors, mm. when they've associated them in a certain way, like let's say Kevin Hart, if you try to play a serious yeah. role, you're smiling already as yeah. he starts talking because yeah, yeah, you yeah. just associate him in a yeah, certain yeah, way. That's facts, yeah. And you know, there's certain type of branding where even though someone like there's there's a guy, I think his name's like Donald Glover or something like that. He's he was a stand up comedian and he got into rapping and stuff and the way he branded himself as an actor, he was able to do serious roles because people didn't just associate him yeah. as a comedian, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I think that's I blab done, but I think that's kind of yeah, it's, it's, it's a good point because yeah. branding itself is always very important. Yeah. yeah, I mean, how you want people to see yourself and yeah, how you're your own boss. Hundred percent yourself. Hundred percent, and I think a lot of people when they do go into a lot of different industry, they kind of forget that you're branding yourself. Yeah, they just look at opportunities and do all of it, but they forget. What, what do you want to be known for? Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I think that's very important. Absolutely. Very important. I, get, I get advice a lot of the time by people that doesn't see the picture I see or doesn't see where I'm trying to go with it. So yeah. they're always like, oh, you should do this. And I, I appreciate suggestions, but it's like, if I'm trying to explain my vision to you and it's it's not, you're not digesting it mm. because you have an agenda, like you, you want me to do this. Yeah. And then I'm telling you something which should kind of alter your view on that advice, but you're still like, okay, yeah, that's cool, but. And then every, yeah. no matter what I say, it's like, all right, yeah, that's cool, I get you, but. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah I get you, but. Yeah. And then it lets me know you're not even digesting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're just, you're just letting it come, and then you're like, okay. It's like you're waiting as I'm talking, it's like, yeah. okay, now I can talk. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then rather than listening and actually working out, okay, what I bounce back now, should it be different? Or should it still be the same? You know what I'm saying? That's facts, you know, that's mm-hmm. facts, you know. Um, I want to talk about the awards that you're nominated for. One mm-hmm. of them being um, favourite web series actor. Mm-hmm. Um, got your speech ready? Nah, I don't. <laughs> Listen, even, even, a lot of the stuff that these improv, you know. Yeah. I, like, when I host, I've, I never prepare anything. Oh, so when you did that show, it was just off the mm, bat. Man, yeah. That was dope. You did Thank well. You. Thank you, man. You and, uh, what's her name, Shion, you know? Yeah. yeah. You guys did well together, man. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't. I don't prepare anything. That's, um, that's why even like if you see any of my voiceovers, like I've done, let's say a Bad Boys one, Hitler, yeah, um, all those ones, they weren't written like they were just, all improvised. Yeah, that's crazy. Story and all of that. Like there was one day I spontaneously made a Snapchat movie, like yeah. in twenty fifteen or fourteen, and even that, I just I even made I even made a little commercial in the middle. Yeah. I did an intro song out like. It was, it was all spontaneous and yeah. I don't know, I, I express myself better through, what's it, sponge, 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 spontaneous. Sponge, spontaneity. Yeah, spontaneous. Well, another way of saying spontaneity. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> spontaneity. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. The ball get in there. That's a talent in itself. Not everybody has that. Mm. To just improv and just go with it. Mm. 100%. But yeah, so I'm, if I prepare it, it won't even come out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. I'm not just go with it. So like, like when obviously being nominated is always great. Mm. How did that make you kind of feel? Did it make you feel like you know the work you're putting in is not being noticed? Or? Yeah, definitely. Cause like, I think I think I'm great. Like, I think mm. I can't fully believe in myself. You know what I'm saying? That's the best I, that fully, I fully yeah. believe in my ability. I yeah. feel like I could give a lot of people around for their money. So mm. it's a thing where it's like, oh right, I find it. You know what I'm saying finally mm-hmm. people people are noticing or I'm getting noticed yeah. for what I do, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it was really nice. It was a thing where I remember they were telling me, Oh yeah, now you need to get a suit and I'm like, Oh, I don't know, I don't really wear suits, you know, I'm like, I don't really do suits. And they're like, No, no, you have to go in the suit. I was like, No, I'll, I'll grab a smart jacket. So you could just get so like skinny jeans, mm-hmm. a blazer. You know what? Yeah, I'm not even these skinny jeans, but I might have to. You're skinny. This one. Why don't you skinny jeans? This one. I'm from Stockholm. I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't these skinny jeans, you know. <laughs> but, but, but I'm I'm elevating in life, so yeah. I'm step up. I'm gonna step up to skinny jeans. What would you say to people that want to get into acting? Um, what would be like your advice for people that want to do that? Um, try. It. That's my advice. My advice is try anything you're interested in. Because at the end of the day, if, like, I sometimes I watch like Serena Williams, yeah, and I think, imagine she didn't try tennis. 
Cause I didn't even try tennis. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Imagine if Tiger Woods didn't try golf. Yeah. Cause I've not tried golf. Like, imagine I was the most talented golfer. But you're I've never found out. I yeah. never know. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it kind of, it kind of mind. That's what. Yeah. Kind of mind fucks me. That like when, like, I watch someone be great at something, mm-hmm. and it's and it's a type of thing that is not around them for them to try like that. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like swimming and that, like. I'm saying I can't swim. Imagine if I learnt to swim, I was sick at that. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of them things where you need to try it to know. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If well, you so there's no age limit. If you like it, it. Exactly. Everyone is individual, so there's no limit for acting. So you can go into it at any age. A lot of famous actors don't go in at like to that like forty or fifty or exactly. even sixty years exactly. old, and they yeah. become famous. That's that's. I think that's the beauty of acting for me. The fact that. You know, for, like maybe we'll, like I could understand when models put pressure on themselves because that is like an aging crop. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And they may be worried, ah, oh, I'm getting to this age now. Mm. I feel like I haven't reached here or there. Yeah. yeah. But the beauty of acting is you can blow at fifty. You yeah, can blow at fifty. You can be a Morgan Freeman or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's and there's so much examples you can look at where people hit hit their stride. Do you know what I'm saying? At a later stage in their life, and that's kind of a bit reassuring. For someone that's patient, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, I think acting is definitely for someone that's patient. If you're patient, yeah. it's definitely the craft for you. Alright then, so I guess on that note, we will go into a quick ad break. Hey, 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 I don't wanna waste your time. Take your no waste mine. Hey, you're cute and got a nice smile. Ain't seen nobody like that in a while. You don't wanna mislead me. They your wifey type for single and happy. Just want a friend, someone's company. And this stuff happens, bend the chemistry. Boy, well, you push it, mm, I bend. Independent chick, never need a man. No. I ain't little bit times on a foot, though. Rolly and a- Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed whatever ad you guys just saw. And let me know in the comment section below what you feel about the ad. And if it's a song, go grab it now on iTunes and, you know, all the usual platforms. And if it's a music video, go watch it. And if it's something else, yeah, you know what to find the deals for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're going to be talking about a H&M story. Um, that I literally just woke up this morning about to go to the gym, as a fat guy does. And, um, <laughs> and um, I look at my phone and all I could see was, F H and M, this and that H and M, yada 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 H and M, and I think people are like, "What the hell just happened?" And then I see a picture that everybody was posting on Instagram stories of a oh yeah. Let me tell you what, my boy actually bumped onto it on H and M. Like he was actually yeah. looking for. This was a, a while back though. Is it old? No, no, not old. But I mean like. Early, like he he showed it to us like yesterday morning or afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and just then people were like, people in the group chat were like, oh, what did you find on social media? He goes, no, I was on, I was on um the store. Y- yeah, it was like I was looking yeah, for something. Yeah, yeah. And um, so there's a young black man who was wearing a green jumper that basically said, uh, wait, wait, wait. Do you know the matters? What? When he sent it to me and I saw it, I was happy. <laughs> look, he sent it, yeah? yeah. And I was like, oh, great, they're using a black, they finally using a little black kid, like, I was so happy. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then when, like, I see, like, shock face and all these emojis, I'm like, why is everyone reacting like this? I'm like, oh, well, out, well, out. Let me look at, let me look at what you're wearing. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, so the jumper basically said, um, cool as monkey in a jungle, and it was a little black kid, and it was just like, yo. Yeah, it is as well. It's the fact that mm. what made it so is the fact that the way I reacted let mm. me know how fucked up it is. Yeah. Because when I saw the picture, the fact I said, oh, yes, they're finally using a little black kid. <laughs> 100%. Exactly. And then conveniently, the time they finally used yeah, the little black kid... <laughs> it said coolest monkey in the, in the what? In, the in, a jung- in a jungle. In a jungle. Fucking disrespect. Like, one reason I've done that and one reason I mean is they get themselves on social media and get everybody talking about HM. That's Simple. It. They're not stupid. They're not. They set that up for a reason. And not, because it has to go through so many um, like the departments or divisions yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. anyway. So. so why would you clear that? Why would you look at that and think that's a good advertising? Mate. At some no. point, someone's mm. going to be like, hey, hey, guys, what, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Like, oh, no, it's part of the plan. Don't worry, man. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. You get a lot of it. Remember when Pepsi... Uh, you know what? Pepsi's one was actually playing an accident. They generally thought it was a good message, so maybe that one wasn't a thing. I don't even remember what happened with Pepsi. So um, there was people having a fight, 
And you know the whole cop situation, killing people, and then they had Kylie Jenner. No, it was, uh, a, it was a protest. Yeah, I remember it was, it was a good protest, a positive peace protest. No, but I meant like the the, the the story was on when you know when police officers were shooting. Oh, um, right, yeah. What's it called? Um, Black innocent people. people. Well, yeah, well, okay, black people. <laughs> and then she went and gave him a Pepsi to yeah. say, oh, yeah, it's all peas. And just yeah. like, nah, dog. <laughs> nah, dog. A Pepsi ain't gonna solve that. <laughs> nah, dog. Um, and then, yeah, she got a lot of backlash for that because they felt like they were disrespecting the whole I situation. I feel like H&M, though, they like a the controversy. Like, they had the whole plus size controversy as well. They did? What's the plus size one? Yeah. So the plus size one was that they did plus size clothing, but they weren't going to have it in their stores. Really? So only online. And then they yeah. put it in their stores, but they only put it in selected stores. I think there was only two, maybe three. Yeah. And then um, they withdrew it. Well, the owners are Swedish, though. So, I don't... They're all size zero. What does zero. that mean? They're oh, all size oh, zero. Oh, oh, like, like, well, I lived in Sweden, didn't I? Okay. So, it's very rare. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, okay, maybe not say it's rare. But there's a lot of big people in Sweden, you know? <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't remember. What do they eat over there? Um, I don't, be- very I don't clean. stereotype and say Very clean. Meatballs. Very clean. Yeah. Very clean. Yeah. Like, if I lived in Sweden, I'd be probably in the gym every day. <laughs> be, like, it's just fact, because mm. everybody's lifestyle is around being activities. In the winter, you've got winter activities, summer activities. Like, you've got different, you've got, obviously, you've got snowboarding and stuff. Mm. Like, people love to, different. yeah, mm. then, because you get so much time off school, like, when it's winter, we're off for, like, two months. You physically can't go to school. Yeah. So you just go out and have fun. You'll go out on a sleigh with your family. You'll go, you'll go skiing to the shop and back. That's what people do. You'll be like, what, you want to go skiing? Yeah, 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 let's just get this thing. Let's ski, let's ski to the corner shop, come back. Let's ski and go eat and come back. That's just what you oh, do. Wait, wait, wait. When you're going to shop, what, you skill that ski downhill? Yeah! And when you're home, you skill <laughs> yeah. ski uphill. <laughs> it's that much snow. Like they only they only clear it on some of the roads. But if you actually go to the schools, schools don't want to pay to get that done. Mm. So that's why the, the holidays are so long. So just heat a classroom. Some people do that. It's it's live. I think it was live, anyways. Um, you just go snowboarding. Well, you know how to ski? Did you? Ski? I used to. I don't know if I can still do it now. Yeah. I'll have to. I can still ice skate though. Yeah, ice skate. I used to play hockey. Raw. <laughs> yeah. You, you've been dogging a lot of Caucasian sports, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the person that hits the barrier at the end and doesn't stop, that's what, that would be me. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Um, I was so, I was so dead at hockey. Way yeah. skier. I was a bench warmer. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been a dog that whenever I started, is that football? If it's a Carlin Cup game, I'm on the pitch. <laughs> 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 if it's a Premier League man, actually, bench. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was dead, but I could skate, though. That's all I could <laughs> I just liked wearing a gear. It looked cool, and especially in Sweden, that's like um, playing for the school football team or the basketball team in America. Playing for the hockey team. Hey, you're the ish. I didn't care that I didn't play. The females loved it. So did I. <laughs> but um, going back to this racism thing, like, there's a lot of scandals that happens every year. Even recently, you've got the Jake Paul situation with filming... Uh, a guy that just committed suicide. Bruh, you know, man, don't even know that Jake Paul guy till, till that. Like, I'm, I'm mm. so happy I'm oblivious to all that kind of white culture. Yeah. Because that's just fucked, man. Mm. That's just fucked. It's easy. He got so annoying. Like, because I saw a video of him around Japan. Like, there's another video. He goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, got to yeah. be respectful to the culture. Uh, he took and then he's doing bare dumb shit. And he goes, but we got to be respectful to the culture. And he kept saying that, oh, isn't it? Man. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. fraud. But you know what? My point to this is, regardless of whatever scandal it is, you're still going to use it in a week's time. Because when Uber, when when people say Uber is unsafe, next day you're in the club, what are you calling to come home? Uber. H&M is a scam. Two weeks later, where are you going to go? H&M when you want to get that bargain for a t-shirt. I have to say, that's the only place I don't shop. I don't shop. Well, yeah. no. you know is it because of the um, what you just told us earlier yeah, about the plus, the size, plus size Yeah, it just annoys me and it frustrates me. And plus, I'm not a massive fan of their clothes. And also, like you said, I think it does have something to do with 
um, being Swedish because a lot of the clothes, obviously, I can't. They're very skinny in Sweden. Right? <laughs> very skinny in Sweden. I've got bums and but like and boobs, so it's not. Like, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tall, so I'm not going to get trousers long enough. Guys, DMs might not be open, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> not open, definitely guys. not. That's what I said. They're not open. <laughs> Might not, no, definitely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Do you know what I mean? So I, yeah. I won't shop there. It just yeah. frustrates me. And plus, I know they did um, Beyonce's range, the Ivy Park yeah. range. My H&M did that. Yeah, one oh, of, well, yeah. They, well, it's in their store. Okay. And one of my girls shopped for that. And I've never seen any of the pictures anywhere. So no plus size pictures have come out. They've really? never been on boards. And that was the whole point of it. Well, does Beyonce represent plus size? Because she ain't plus size. No, she's not. It doesn't mean she represents it, but it means that they obviously wanted a, like, a diverse amount of people to mm. show that they sell the clothes for that size. That's the yeah. whole point of shooting a plus size model, is to show that... But Beyonce and plus size, what's the point? I remember when... Um, because it shows that her range goes up to that size, because obviously she can't model a size 20, so they'll get a, they'll get a plus size model to do it. That's okay. what I'm saying, but... I've was it H- I can't remember what store it was. There was a store that was supposedly had a plus size range, but then they were using, like, not plus size range. There's a uh, Boohoo, yeah. Boohoo tend to have a model that's a size 12. Yeah, and yeah they have big models They now. don't... <laughs> Me, personally, like the girls that I work with, we wouldn't necessarily call that a plus size. You might be curvy, not but it's not a plus size. But in an agency world, that's a plus size. Yeah. See, this is where Which the thing... Is what is sad. The word plus size is yeah. so... It's just so used. Vague. It's like, vague. I hear so-and-so is plus size. I mean, what, what is plus size? You'll get, like, the perfect curvy girl, blah, blah, blah. She'll say she's plus size. You get a big, really big girl, she's plus size. You get someone in the middle that's plus size. Then you get, like, an Ashley Graham plus size, isn't it? Like plus size, I think, is what it is. You have to say a certain size or category. Everyone's yeah. like, it's a bad thing. Mm. But it's not. I mean, it's but this is the thing, though, yeah. Talking about your situation, you won't go to H&M because they, they don't provide you with your clothes. Mm-hmm. Going back to the racism, everybody can go H&M, and and this is why they'll still use it. Like your your situation is fair based on size. Yeah. If you can't get what you need, you're not going to use it. No. Whereas in in a situation where it's to do with ra- is it, you can even put Logan Paul in there. You might hate that one video, or you might hate that one picture that they're promoting. You'll still use it though. Like, if you're a Logan Paul fan, you'll still watch him, regardless of what he's yeah, done. Yeah, because you want to know what's going on, and you want to keep up with everybody. Exactly. You're still making yeah. him the money. And yeah. the whole world is now look, looking That's at Logan Paul. That's why he loves Paul. it, because he's getting exactly. the attention that he wants. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's the same with H&M. If H&M now put out a star, come on, let's say 50% off. Uh, no offense to black people, but we all do this. I know for a fact, every black boy that was, not every black boy, but a good 80% of those black boys that tweeted FH and them are going to be like, rah, they've got the same top and top, and, well, top man, but it's half price H&M, then we've got H&M. They're just going to do that. Yeah. It's just facts. It's the way life is. And H&M will be the one winning. And I think that's the issue when it comes to um, all of these sort of like uh, situations, because people just... People are quick to complain, mm. but not quick to think about the solution for that complaint. So, let's imagine that this hasn't come out, and the actual original picture is a, a, a black, a little black boy, and a white boy with exactly the same jumper on. Yeah. Or it was just a white boy in that jumper. What would happen then? A white boy wearing that jumper, but nobody would care if it was a white boy wearing a jumper. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. But instead of just having him, why didn't they have a variety of children wearing that jumper? Why is it just that one boy? Well, <laughs> there are a variety because if you actually go through it, they have an orange, green, and it wasn't what? the same. No, 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 variety of coloured kids. Yeah, coloured kids, but I meant in terms what? of the jumpers so what, as well. There's the white kid wearing the jumper as well. It was more like the one that I saw on Instagram, the guy posted it was a black kid wearing it, and then it was a white kid wearing the same oh, okay. jumper but different colour. Right, oh, okay. So every, oh, oh. everybody just picked on this one picture, yeah. and that's what that's they're rolling what I mean. with. Ah. Oh. That adds context to it. So it's, it, it's yeah. I mean, they're not going to just sell one green jumper, let's be serious. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I'm saying if the black kid was wearing the green, the orange, the this, yeah, yeah I thought it was. It wasn't, it's not. There's other kids for different like, colours. No, I don't, I don't know. Like, that's, that, that adds changes context that, to it. Yeah, that it changes that's it. That's a change of context yeah, to nah, it. Nah, yes, just, it yeah, it changes the context to it for me. Because, it because if you, yeah, yeah, but it's like, Nah, it changes the context a bit, man. 
Really? Okay. Yeah. Because I yeah, I feel if they choose to just have mm. had a black model kid mm. to wear it, mm-hmm. I feel like they're trying to send a message. Yeah. Because they deliberately chose, you know what, this time we're gonna use a black kid for this one. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if they um if they ch- said we're gonna have both yeah. to wear this Maybe they added the black kid into it to well, the black, to, to I think do that. It, I but think the black kid was at the front of yeah. that clothing, bro. The so they are using. Do you know what it is as well black. though? The other kid stuff is it both a black and white kid for the other stuff? Because if there's consistency mm-hmm. throughout all mm. their items, then you would have to. I say, I'd have to look into that. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then you'd have to look at it as if if there's if all the kid stuff is modelled by a black kid and a white kid, a black kid and a white kid, then for this jumper, you choose to exclude the black kid. Mm. Again, it, do you know what I'm saying? It, 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 yeah, it, it will, there will, there will be, people will be complaining about yeah, that. Yeah, why is the black kid not you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and all of that. Oh, mm. They're clearly racist because they think we're monkeys, but they don't want to look like they think we're monkeys. So yeah. They didn't yeah, let the black just, kid yeah, wear yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you just so, had the white kid on, yeah. they'd still be controversial. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. If, they, if the black kid was on every other item, yeah. mm. but then wasn't for that, do you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Right. So I think, yeah. I think in terms of context is everything. So if all the items had both the black kid and the white kid, mm. it's a bit more debatable because there's 100%. consistency to it. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, I think it does have consequences. Just scrap the jumper, H&M. Why sell that jumper? <laughs> <laughs> just don't have it. Do you know what it is, though? Enjoy the bus it, it side, very, It is mean. a very white mum saying, though. <clears throat> like, you know, when they're like, oh, so you're such a cheeky monkey. Yeah. You know I mean, so yeah. I get what they're trying to say, do you know what I'm mm. saying? It's like, yeah. oh, you're a cheeky monkey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know they're trying to say that. Yeah. Like, oh, you're yeah. so cheeky. You're cheeky monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's actually true. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, no, yeah. so I know that. That's what they're trying to say. That's as soon as I saw the picture this morning, I was like, I said to him, I went, I can see what they're trying to do, but they've mm. done it very badly. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, it's just, oh, yeah, to be fair, all it takes is one person to find it and then the whole of social media. Then, it's probably going to be trending yeah. by the end of the night. But then what we're talking about is what they can come back with and say, well, we, we have used a microphone as well, that's not what we meant. Mm. Da, 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 da. Well, so they're, they're, they're just, make an apology like every yeah. company does and then give it a week and you've forgotten about it. It's, mm. just, it's not like the Logan Paul situation where it's continuous stupidity. Mm. Mm. This is just a one picture. H&M is not... Oh, I haven't heard about it. Okay, you're telling me the plus that. But in terms of yeah. racism, no. no one's really heard anything about H&M before. Yeah. So, you know, give it a couple of I days. I remember, right? They use cool. black models quite a lot as well. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 they do. It's, it's, context is everything, man. I, mean, I, I, I feel sometimes things can look a lot worse when it's isolated. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, From yeah, yeah. the scenario. So, yeah, we probably have to look into it and see... You know what I'm saying, and kind of get more of the intention from there because it is a difficult position to be in if mm. you have this product, like you have loads of designs and then you have this product. Let's say you have a watermelon t shirt, mm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, now you you have to this, or, or you may you may not even be aware of it because you got orange one, an apple one, a banana one, yeah. and all of that. So you have all the kids wearing it, mm. but then you may not clock that they may pull out the banana one and be like, Look, they're trying to call the black kid a monkey. Because it's mm. got a banana on it. Do you know what I mean? The pajamas yeah. with bananas on yeah. it. Pajamas with watermelons on it. Some of these Swedish people may not even know the stereotype that black people love um, watermelon. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And they Facts. could they could have the kid all in watermelon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, what are you trying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, that, and that. And it's even true. though they'll have the black kid and the white kid wearing yeah. it, as long as you pull out the black kid one, <laughs> yeah. all you're going to see is a picture of a yeah. black kid covered in watermelon. People are only really ever going to show the bad. Of course. Yeah. They're not going to show you, okay, look, there was like eight other white kids involved. Come on, you ain't going to get retweets for that. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the aim of the game. Like. That's the aim of the game. Retweets and uproar. Like, that's what we're here for. <laughs> these guys, these internet trolls, they're here for the uproar and the retweets. Facts, man. I guess on this point, before we go into the next topic, mm-hmm. H&M, you guys need to jump on a plus size because we've got plus size ladies that want to win. And listen, I'm fat too, you know. So <laughs> how like your boy, bro? Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, yeah. And, and skinny, you lot need to make an extra medium. <laughs> That's an extra medium. Extra meat, like has, you know what I'm saying? Let I slender it a bit more. I never heard of that uh, one before. Bare, puff, bare, puffy on the sides and like, like, like trying to wear t-shirts. Extra fitted. Yeah. Extra fitted and um, I don't know. Medium. Just get rid of that. Um, the jumper is trash anyway. It's not even a nice jumper. You know what I mean? Uh. It wasn't even like it was a good jumper. So I don't know. Just delete the pictures or something. Let's keep it. In, I don't know. Keep it in store, but delete the picture. That's what I'll do. Mm. Facts. 
So we'll see you guys for the next topic. Hope you guys enjoyed this topic with Sam Williams. All of his stuff and everything you need to know will be coming at the end of the episode. But if you want to get the now already in the description below. So see you guys in the next Hey, sometimes so we have some company. No long till you already know what we're here for. No lovers or friends, a bottle of something. Roll up the trees, then ain't no creeping. No time for sleeping, no time to wasting. Just for the weekend, keep going till we pass out. Dolly on the sofa, now we pass out. Ended up on the bed, passed out. We gonna go again till we pass out.